like movies. It feels like going to a cinema or just seeing movies in Netflix or uh, at hot home basically or buying them or um, downloading them on the internet. <laughs>
amazing movie. The last one, Captain Fantastic, really similar to Little Miss Sunshine, stars Pico Mortensen. Um, this is one of the re more, most recent of them all, if not the most recent. Um, really cool and chill movie. Um, good visuals. It's just so sweet. It's a really sweet movie. And really original too. And Viggo Mortensen is just amazing in this movie. You shall check it out. And let's go for the top 10. I think this will be a long video. Okay, so. I know, 
it's just a magical movie everything in it is just so magical and it invites you to, to dream and um, become whatever you want to be it's just um, an incredible magical movie it's a really sweet movie and the soundtrack the original Martian soundtrack is just 10 out of 10 the songs are just Number four. 
probably one of my favorite my favorite what's the name performance one of my favorite performances in every in any movie ever James Franco is just so good at this role it's basically him alone almost for all the movie the soundtrack the visuals also thanks to this movie I discovered uh, Sig Ross and I also cry at the end I'm, I just cry a lot when it's in, in the movies so this tells the real life story about um, Aaron Ralston Just 
sweet. It's, it's just the sweetest movie of all time. I don't know, it's an indie movie. It stars uh, Steve Carell, Abigail, Abigail Brislin, um, Tony Collette, and Paul Dano, and Alan Arkin, who won an Oscar for his role. This movie, man, I mean, it's just right. And thanks to this movie, I also, I also, um, began to love Volkswagens, and I like a Traveler, double, the Traveler Volkswagens, especially Type 1 and 2. I don't know, man. <sighs> and I really like Steve Carell in this movie. I don't know, everyone in this movie gives a really cool, really good performance. Basically, a family, a really interesting family, takes a trip to a, to a contest, the Little Miss Sunshine contest, a beauty contest, and they are used... <laughs> it's just a really interesting family. You should watch it right now. Okay, number two. <sighs> yeah. I probably said it in 500 videos, but my favorite director is Tarantino. And I just had to choose one. I know, actually, I didn't have to choose any movie. I knew which movie was gonna be, and now it's not Pulp Fiction, it's not Reservoir Dogs, it's Inglorious Bastards. This movie has my favorite performance ever, obviously by Christoph Waltz, as Hans Landa. Probably the best dialogue best screenplay, the screen white writing, the dialogue, the, the performances, the soundtrack by, um, what, what, what was his name, um, no, man, I'm probably gonna regret this one, Any Morricone, um, who also, um, made the soundtrack in uh, Django Unchained and Kill Bill. Uh, well, this movie, man, just the opening of this movie is just a 10. Just makes this movie a 10. And it's the most thrilling, tense movie ever, in my opinion. Best Tarantino movie ever. Don't fuck me with Pulp Fiction and Talks. This movie, man, this movie. Okay, so number one, you probably knew by now. Yeah, I, I even have it um, there. Yeah. Especially the end. 
and I don't know where to start. You know this movie is from 1971. You know it's this movie was even before The Godfather. That's just and this movie in that time I, I, I don't know how this movie this movie could, could cannot be done at this moment. It got um it got a lot of controversial things going on. I I, I just know the words in Spanish. Polemic um, controversy. Um it even went to the X cinemas. Not even uh, I R. Just X, like a uh, pornographic shit. Even Kubrick had to delete this movie from the cinemas because a lot of people was just messing with this movie. This movie, man, this movie has balls for being done and being considered one of the most important movies ever. It's just a classical movie. It's just not one of the, one of the best classical movies ever, along with um, you know, two, 2001, Space Odyssey. At least from Kubrick. I mean, just man.